Hey what is up guys, welcome to a car modding tutorial for Assetto Corsa and I've actually done one of these before on my YouTube channel but I never really felt like continuing it for some reason and the one on there right now is very outdated so I've just decided to restart one so I'll be able to explain things a lot better as well and the car will look a lot better too so let's get started with episode 1 and in this episode we're just gonna get the car prepared for the game so we're not actually going to put it in game yet but we're just going to prepare it so it will be drivable when we get the car in game working all right so the first thing you want to do before we start doing any modding you want to make sure that the full car is above this center line so you want to have this the, the, the front or the any wheels basically you want to have them above the center line otherwise the physics of the car will mess up in game so yeah that's really important to make sure um, now we can actually start with modding and um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make eight dummies for the for the wheels and suspension so we're going to have one dummy for each wheel and one dummy for each suspension on the car so we're going to create them right here we're going to click on help us and then dummy and then we can just drag one doesn't really matter how big you make them or where you place it right now and the name uh, we will change that later um, but we're just going to create one right now and we're going to change some setting to this and then we're just going to copy that dummy seven times so we don't have to redo that setting uh, yeah, every time. So we're going to go to, we're going to select this dummy first actually. And then we're going to go to hierarchy, I think it's called. And then we're going to go to effect pivot only. So you can uh, see the arrows of the pivot point. And we're going to want to change them because if we keep them this way, the wheels will be inverted and we don't want that to happen so we're going to change the rotation of him and we're going to do that by right clicking the select and rotate object and then we're going to change the x to 90 and the z to 180 and that will make the, the blue arrow point forward the green one point up and the, la the red one point left and that's the position we want so uh, we can click this again and now we can just copy that dummy seven times. So just copy him. Oh shit, that's the wrong button. Clone. Clone. Make sure you click uh, copy here when you clone uh, the dummies. All right, so we have eight dummies now and now we just wanna rename them and we wanna align them to the correct wheel and suspension. So for the names, we have um, on each wheel has like an indication. So the left front wheel has, for example, LF, and then the left rear has LR, right rear has RR, and right front has RF. So for the wheel dummies, we want to rename them like this. So we have wheel in capitals, and then we have LF for the left front, and we just want to change that for each wheel dummy. So wheel RF. Wheel LR and wheel RR. Oh, I forgot the underscore right there. Okay, there you go. And now we want to do basically the same thing for the suspension, um, but instead of wheel, we put susp. So susp LF susp RF. Susp RR and Susp LR. Alright, that's all the dummies created now and renamed properly. And now we need to align them to the correct wheel and suspension. So, to do this, we are going to actually uh, make sure that the pivot point of the wheels and suspension is centered. So, we're going to click the rim right here. And you want to go to uh, hierarchy again. And then click effect pivot only and you want to click center to object so that means it will center the pivot point to the center of the wheel which is what we want and then you're going to do the same thing for the suspension and the suspension placement will be the uh, the brake disc in this case so i'm just going to click the brake disc right here and do the same thing to that so center to object um, you want to do that for each wheel, so you're going to click the wheel, center object, brake disc, center to object. And you want to just do that on each side. Okay. 
All right, and uh, now that is done, we can start aligning the dummies to the to the right uh, object. So we are wanting the the wheel suspension, uh, the wheel dummies. We want them want to have them aligned to the rim. So we're gonna click the wheel dummy right here, and then you're gonna press Ctrl A, or you can click. Uh, let me see which button it was again. Uh, this button right here, align, and you're just gonna. Make sure that one is selected, the right dummy is selected, and then you're just going to click the object, object where you want to align it to. So that is the rim. And then you want to have these three boxes ticked and this set to pivot point, and these all unticked. And you're just going to click OK, and then the dummy should get placed at the, uh, at the same pivot point as the wheel is. So you just want to do that for each uh, wheel and suspension. So we have right front, I'm going to go this way. Ctrl A and then click the rim and then do the same thing for all of them moving up to the last rim now we're going to do the suspension and that means we're going to click the suspension dummy and then we're going to click on the brake disc instead now and we're just going to do that for each one right rear and then we have the right front the last one all right that's done all right so that means now that the dummies are in the correct position um, but uh, there's no objects like underneath the dummies and that's what we're gonna do now we want to have like the rim objects like be part of the wheel dummy so we're gonna basically just click the the object that you want in the dummy and we basically want all of this basically everything that rotates with the wheel uh, rotates and turns with the wheel we want to have them in the in the wheel dummies and then everything that just turns with the wheels we want to have them in the suspension dummies so that's for example the calipers so we're just gonna select the full rim basically and put these objects in the wheel LF in this case and we're gonna do that for each uh, for each uh, what you call them for each wheel so um, I'm just gonna click this and select all of them and drag them to the right f dummy and then do the same thing for the rear that right rear this is then the last one which is right there all right so now we should have the wheels pla being placed in the dummies that means the wheels should be rotating now when we whenever we get driving and we actually want to give the rims a specific name so I, I said of course I can recognize them for the objects for the other objects it doesn't really matter as long as the rim have the right name so we want to have the rim which is this object alu think actually this is all part of the rim so we should just make a I should just make a group of this select it to new pair new group and then call it rim that's what it needs to be called rim and then the indication so left front like that and I'm just gonna do the same thing for all of these rim LR then rim rf and then rim rr all right now I can, now I said of course I will recognize the rim as well and that's that's not really not gonna that's not really gonna affect the way the the car drives or anything it's just so that the game in this well not really the game actually it's just the uh, ks editor where we edit the shaders that will recognize the rim so when we have rim blur we can press f1 in there so we can switch between rim blur and the rim but we don't have rim blur for this car yet so that's yeah so we didn't really have to do that but in case you have rim blur you need to do that all right so 
um, let me see where we left off. We basically done the wheels properly now, and now all we need to do is we need to get the uh, the caliper the caliper object. We need to get them in the suspension dummy. So we want to have the this is the left rear. So we just want to drag that into the left rear suspension dummy, and basically just do the same thing for all of these again. Go to the other side. That's the right front. And this will be the right rear. And that should be it. And this should make the car work in game properly. And so this means I will end the first episode. And in the next episode I will start um, working on the exterior shaders for the car. I'll show you, how, show you how to assign the textures and change the shader settings and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this first episode. Please leave a like if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.